Hi, this is Father Engel, your pastor. I'm happy to be back for this uh, week's message. And I'd like to say that one of the important functions of the church is to teach, following the mandate from Jesus, as we find in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20, where he says, Go forth, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. Those are the words of Jesus, give us the power to teach. Now, one of the most essential ways to teach is through catechism. In fact, of all the ministries in the church, the work of the catechists is on top of the priorities of any parish. It is through the catechism that people are taught about their faith. It is through catechism that we understand our faith and relationship with God and with one another. At St. Joseph Paris in Mountain View, our catechism classes have always been our top priority. Thanks to all our voluntary catechists who offer their time and talent to teach our children and bring them closer to God. Glory to God in the highest. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. God created us to live and grow in love. By being stewards of God's gifts, we take an active part in bringing this vision of life into being. Confident in the power of prayer to transform us, we bring our needs to God who hears and answers us. Strengthen and multiply those called to catechetical ministry and show us how to support and encourage their work. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you have loved us without limit. We ask you to listen to our prayers and grant them through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Una de las funciones importantes de la iglesia es enseñar. ¿Mm? Siguiendo el mandato de Jesús, como lo encontramos en Mateo 28, dice, Y pues, y hace discípulos de todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo, y, enseñan, y enseñales, dice, a guardar todo lo que, te he mandado, lo que les he mandado. Es decir, usted función de la iglesia es enseñar una de las funciones importantes. El trabajo de catequista está por encima de las prioridades de cualquier parroquia. Es a través del catecismo que entendemos nuestra fe y nuestra relación con Dios y entre nosotros. Y también es por la, el catecismo que conocemos mejor a Jesús. Good morning to everyone. <coughs> I'm happy to see all of you, and uh, it's always a joy for me as a pastor to see you at Mass. And uh, I'm very grateful to God that you have the heart to come, that in spite of the pandemic, you are courageous enough to join us at the celebration. And I always say you're the hero of the day, because uh, nothing can stop you, and no one can stop you from coming to this church the church that we love so much, and the parish that we are so committed to, the parish of St. Joseph. Today, is, uh, uh, we would like to honor all, all our catechists on, on both communities, the English-speaking and Spanish-speaking communities. And that, uh, as part of St. Joseph, it's always been my, my uh, desire to have only one community of catechists in consultation with Father Michael, our Director for Faith Formation, I have, uh, or rather both of us, have realized the need of the participation of the parish when it comes to directing the parish, or rather the faith formation in our parish. And so for that reason, I have decided to appoint one of you to be the co-director for faith formation that will assist us. Father Michael, myself, in uh, directing the faith formation of the parish of St. Joseph. This uh, position does not involve salary. It is on a voluntary basis. 
I have the honor to present to you our co-director for faith formation, Mrs. Carolina Mihan. Please, please come. And then we are going to, I'm going to meet all the catechists of both communities so that we'll all talk together about what to do with our faith formation. It's long overdue, and there should be an overhaul of the entire program, uh, thinking in special manner our young members of the community, so that each of us will, uh, will benefit from the program that we will construct for all of you. So once again, I'd like, in behalf of the Paris of St. Joseph, I'd like to thank you, Mrs. Carolina Mihan. And now I'd like to um, bless all the catechists. I do believe that uh, God, through the power of the Spirit, has inspired you to follow Him. Please, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to go forth, continue the ministry, but always remember you are not alone. Jesus is with you. With your Father, your blessing, Lord, you strengthen these, your children, your catechists, in their resolve to dedicate themselves as teachers of the faith. Grant that they will strive to share with others what they themselves derive from pondering your word and studying the church teaching. And let them gladly join those they teach in honoring and serving your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. de agradecer a ustedes. Yo quisiera agradecer a todos ustedes por su apoyo a la parroquia y por la intercesión de María, la madre de la palabra hecho hombre, que la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo, el Espíritu Santo, descienda y permanece siempre con ustedes. Amén.